today session paradox alarm system stay tuned we will set up a complete system out of the box let's take a look at what we have the mg5050 plus is a powerful wireless alarm system it came with some resistors and some panel standoffs so the green resistors are one kilo ohm resistor red ones are 2k2 value eight zone panels so you can have eight detectors hardwired so let's just have a look at a uh, quick terminals here ac for the ac power bell output pgm's output which you can control your garage door electric gate lighting all these outputs etc auxiliary where all your detectors and keypads everything get powered out of this power supply and the green and yellow for the keypad telco connection we have two serial ports so you can plug your ip150 and your serial connection to your software both at the same time here is a reset if you want to get your panel to factory reset when you power it on you push and hold that button for a few seconds the lights will come on you let it go and then you push it again it will default the whole factory setup let's have a look at kind of tm70 touchscreen keypad a very good design makes the life really easy Easy to control the system. We have Paradox RIM 3 two way remotes. These remotes have tons of buttons to control all the output. We will program all of that and show you how it all works. So let's quickly wire up our system. You put all these standoffs through the back and then just set this panel on this standoffs and then you gently push it down to lock it now let's wire up this tm70 keypad to the panel with this fly lead comes with it it plugs in back of this keypad let's just quickly wire it in red to auxiliary positive black lead to auxiliary negative green to grn terminal yellow to the yellow terminal so this keypad here connects with four wire to the alarm panel red positive black negative green and yellow as the communication terminal the blue cable comes with it if you want to use a detector closer to the paradox keypad you can you can have a one detector next to it plugged in through there we're not using it so just leave that one there okay let's wire up the alarm panel with this 16 volt ac power adapter that comes with these other end it's just the live and neutral so we plug that into ac terminal it's a good practice to only Always wire a temper switch to your alarm system. It feeds through here and then six the other. So I'm going to do 1k resistor in line with one leg of the temper switch, and that will go to the zone 8 terminal. The other leg of the temper switch will just be going to common terminal of the panel. Let's connect the wireless antenna to the alarm system. The system is now ready to power on. Okay, the system is now power on. You can see the keypad is upgrading its firmware doing its initial setup. So it's just press OK. So now system is basically ready to go okay our system has just powered on so first it's all factory setting what we're gonna do is we're gonna program zone 8 which is our temper switch so if we go to menu and then go to system setup default installer code four zeros go in it and then click on zones we're going to zone 8 and then enroll as a hardwired zone you click on that here you can select your zone type so if i go to 08 zone type which is an instant zone type so you click on that and then save it and then area assignment is part of area one it's on and then just hit next so another thing we have to do is to tell the system it's wired with single end of line resistor. 
So if we go to advanced programming and then go into installer section pro system programming installer section number 706 and turn the option 2 on and then hit next and then you can come back out of the programming now you can see one zone is showing open so better way to look at if one technician is on site and he needs to test all the zones so if we go to menu and then go to add-on and then go to on-screen monitoring and it will display all the zones in front of you so you can go into test mode and then everything will be in the testing process mode if you close the zone and then reopen it it will mark the zone as tested so that way you can go through all the site and test every zone okay so the next what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this panel to the babyware software through the serial connection port so for that you need to know your pc password and pc id how we need to set this up first through the keypad so if you go to menu system setup and Installer menu, go to advanced programming, and then go to system programming. And under section 910, you can select your communicator password, so whatever 5555. Next, 5555 next once you hear the two beeps it has accepted your programming now you can come out of here what we're going to do is we're going to connect our serial connection to this alarm panel okay we got this uh, paradox pc link adapter you just put your um, usb cable in here and then this four port serial cable will plug it into the serial one port of the alarm panel so this product link light just came on and we just plug our other end of this usb to our pc once we plug that in you will go to your baby wear software and then you need to create a new account you click on account and we're going to add a new account testing mt5050 panel so we are going for the connection option serial so we need to connect via serial com port click on serial com port and then so you need to find which com port is your usb is using so you click on your this pc click right click and then go to properties and then click on device manager or usb serial port 3 so you find your usb serial port and then you match that usb serial port in here and then leave that border to auto detect and press ok so here system login we need to put that numbers here system login and password we selected 5555 so we can save that config and then hit connect and let's see detecting identifying the panel okay so we are in so you always receive all the information from the panel first it will give us all the reviews okay let's program our rem3 remote and program all the outputs controlling from these remotes so for that we will go to the user and then we will put a serial number of the remote into the remote serial section what you have to do is you have to assign the buttons to control the output so if you click on action so here i have selected number nine for pgm1 so these outputs here pgm1 2 3 4 i have selected all four different pgms and then basic area one arm sleep time mode and off button so if you do that and then you just have to highlight these one touch option and then hit save okay and then let's just test our pgm output one so what you first have to press the information button for one second select your 
button so button b is pressed so this output here one is on so if i do button two button c is pressed which will turn on output two button b it's for output three and then button e for output four before we wrap up here let's just test our remote for arming and disarming so you click here system is ready to arm it's arming now and let's disarm it system is off and that's it your paradox alarm system is now fully set up and ready to go if you found this video useful don't be shy to like and subscribe for more security and automation tutorials if you have any questions drop them in the comments and i will be happy to help thanks for watching guys